Hello everyone, my name is Martin Smetsers and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be logging into cloning. Alright, now let's start doing some cloning in After Effects. Just a short notice, um, this tutorial might be a little bit short because I'm just going to show you a trick of how do you actually implement clones when your camera is actually in motion but i will also show you some experiments that i did all right so what i have here is my original footage is tyrell walking the camera is following him and then turn walking into frame and you can see that the tripos is actually panning here and then we have our cloning footage of turn doing his other thing and here the tripod is on a static position so we need to add this static footage into this actually yeah this footage that's actually in motion and before we start um this this cloning technique only works uh, when the camera is panning because the problem is um if the camera is moving like you're doing a sliding shot from the left or right or whatever you get the problem of depth of field which means that the background starts shifting and it would mean that if this background, if this camera would be like a meter to the left, this, sh this shot would not match anymore. And I would actually have to rotoscope him out entirely. Or you, if you want to actually move the camera entirely, I would just recommend green screening. All right, so let's get into this. Let's right click the lower footage. And let's select track camera. Let's go into advanced. And let's select the tripod pan and let's do detailed analysis. All right, so the camera tracker is done. Let's see. And I'll select a point right next to turn. Right click on one of these dots and create null and camera. All right. So now we need to open up this one, the static uh, footage. So let's open that up. Let's select motion blur and let's set it to 3D. Now I'm going here to the rectangle tool and if you like hold your mouse button you can actually select whatever you want. But for now I'll just take the rectangle tool, the square, and just drag down here. Alright. And also I'm going to use the pen behind tool, let's see, to move this point way over here I usually just like to put them all the way down here at their feet and let's see select the footage and press T let's move the opacity a little bit down so that we can start matching the background and now press P and also select the track null and press P Right, select the position and press Ctrl C or edit copy and then go to this position and press Ctrl V or in this case it should be paste. So now the position of the of this track null matches the scene. But it's a rather a little bit big, so let's press S for the scale. And let's scale it down. And now it is up for us to match the scene because I can see this tree here to the right. Let's see. Now it almost matches. Let's see. It's not perfect yet. Because this is the tricky part. Now you just need to start matching it. And it can get really tricky if. You know, the thing with the depth of field is your camera, if the, the, the footage of your tripod shot does not match the depth of field of your original shot. So you just make sure that you don't move the camera too much. Let's see. Press P again. All right. I can see this tree is a little bit down there. This tree is a bit here. Yeah. 
right, I'll see that this shot is a little bit rotated. Oh, it might also be a little bit smaller, or a little bit bigger, I mean. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Maybe 44. And I also see that this shot is a little bit, so let's press R and let's get rotation. Of course, let's keep this all the way down. <laughs> let's see. somewhere around here and let's set see if we can match the footage well somewhere around here this looks this looks nice the trees in the background match quite well and now let's press F and let's feather this edge a little bit let's turn on the motion for now and let's see let's go and see what this looks like Alright, it looks pretty nice, but I do notice some things, and that is when when he's walking, you can see that the sword overlaps a little bit. But what you can do is like see if you can just move it a little bit more here. Let's see how far this actor actually walks. You can see that the spear just cuts into frame a little bit, but you can also see here that this spear just moves slightly out of frame. So what we maybe can do is maybe make it a little bit bigger here. You can see that it still matches the footage. Yeah, it still looks pretty, really nice. Let's see. Let's check this again. Yes, that's it. Well, this is basically the effect of what we see here. All right, let me show you some ex uh, small experiments uh, that I did. And one of them is actually just on a static tripod shot. All right, so what you can see what I did here is I'm sitting here, but these clones are actually overlapping with me. But it works because I only have to cut out this because I am actually in front of this object and they are on the other side of this object so I'm using the environment as to my advantage so that I can actually have like cl a clone here maybe I could have a clone here and these clones can just walk right over me and normally that wouldn't work because I would have actually had to rotoscope myself out so here's another simple shot and here I'm actually holding the camera handheld so the first thing that I did is I first made a static shot here of me moving here and here and here and then I would like pan the, the camera on my tripod over here and then I would slowly take the, and steady take the camera off the tripod try to keep it at the same position and then just slowly pan right here's the final example this is just another tripod shot where the tripod is panning but just to give you guys an idea
as you can see this guy this we first have our first clone just telling the others that they can go and then the tripod pans to the other clones and this is of course with, with the same technique that i showed you these clones just move into position and just run towards the target which is <laughs> kind of obvious but yeah that's kind of it um see for yourself what you can do with it and i hope i hope this uh this small but simple technique uh helped you guys out all right guys thank you very much for watching check out my instagram and my facebook page and give that a like do of course stay up to date for upcoming film projects check out the rest of my channel and of course subscribe and click on that weird bell icon because youtube is acting strange and i will see you guys the next time